in this video i will talk about clamper circuit positive clamper circuit before going to the positive clamper circuit let me show you the steps we have to follow to solve any type of clamper circuit i will use these five steps to analyze every clamper circuit at first we have to consider that half cycle of the alternating signal which will drive the diode in forward bias and i will start my analysis from that portion of the ac signal see an alternating signal has two half cycle positive and negative half cycle and you know that a diode is if this is a diode a diode is in forward bias when it the positive terminal of the signal or voltage is connected with the p type p side of the diode and n terminal of the source is connected to the n side of the diode the half cycle that will set the condition this condition in the diode i will start my analysis from that half cycle okay now as this diode is in forward bias we can replace that diode either with a short circuit or a voltage source of 0.7 volt if it is specifically mentioned that this is a silicon diode we know that a diode has three equivalent circuit one is ideal circuit that case diode is replaced by total short circuit and second one is approximate equivalent circuit that is the diode is replaced by a, its built in potential and at that time we have to calculate the output voltage across the load resistor rl now there is a specific point about this 0.7 volt silicon diode if let's say this is a diode here i want to replace it with its built in potential 0.7 volt i will replace this diode with a voltage source of 0.7 see the positive side of the voltage source will be in the p side of the diode and the negative side will be in the n side of the diode and i will denote it with 0.7 volt source okay after calculating the voltage drop across load resistor rl i will cal i have to calculate the capacitor voltage vc as during the forward bias the capacitor charging time constant is very small therefore i will assume that the capacitor will charge up instantly in that case to determine the capacitor voltage vc i will apply kirchhoff's voltage law in the circuit parameters to calculate our vc how much voltage the capacitor is stored during the positive half cycle now in the other half cycle the diode will be in reverse bias therefore we will replace the diode with an open circuit the diode is open circuit that means that branch in which the diode is connected will be eliminated from the circuit okay as the capacitor hold the voltage vc and it has a high time discharging time constant tau d therefore i can i we will assume that the capacitor will store the voltage that it achieved from the forward biased half cycle it it will store that voltage also during the other half cycle and in that case i will apply a kirchhoff's voltage law to calculate our output voltage and the third step is that i will draw our input and output waveform and check the peak to peak value of both waveform if, if they match each other then i can conclude that my circuit analysis is okay completely perfect and accurate now i will talk about positive clamper circuit what is positive clamper circuit positive clamper is that circuit which shift or push up the dc level or uh, reference level of the input voltage in upward or positive direction there is a simple way of identifying the whether the clamper circuit is positive clamper or negative clamper when the diode is in upward direction that clamper is will be our positive clamper now let's say i am applying this square wave in the input side of this clamper circuit see this circuit contains capacitor diode and load resistor therefore i can expect that this circuit can act as a clamper circuit now i will show you how do we deduce the output voltage and draw the output waveform with this input voltage in our first step of analyzing any clamper circuit at first we have to see which half cycle of the alternating voltage will drive the diode in positive forward bias see there are two half cycle positive and negative half cycle during the negative half cycle of this alternating 
or square wave voltage our diode will be in forward bias and when this diode the input voltage is in negative half cycle this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative so this diode will be in forward bias now let's say this is our ideal the ideal diode so as this is a ideal diode i can replace this diode with a short circuit and when this diode is replaced by short circuit our output voltage will be equal to zero because we are taking the output voltage across this load resistor which is connected in parallel with this short circuit therefore in ideal case our output voltage will be equal to zero when the input voltage is in negative half cycle now see this is our positive terminal and this is our negative terminal a current i will start flowing in this indicated direction therefore this capacitor will get charged instantly and this capacitor will will be charged up to a voltage level of vc and to calculate the vc we can if we apply kashov's voltage law we will see that this capacitor voltage will be equal to our v now how do we define the polarity of the capacitor see as the current is entering from this direction our capacitor will be positive in this side and the negative in this side so at the end of the negative of cycle our output voltage is equal to 0 volt and our capacitor is charged up to a voltage of v or the positive peak voltage now consider the positive half cycle here in a positive half cycle our this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative so this diode will be in reverse bias so i can replace this circuit diode with an open circuit so what let me show you what happened when this diode is replaced by an open circuit see this will be a diode was connected between these two terminals and i have replaced that diode with an open circuit so when the diode gets open circuited our uh, i can say that i can eliminate all i can eliminate this branch from our given circuit now the value of this capacitor and the load resistor are so are so chosen so such that our discharging time constant is very high and due to high discharging time constant our our capacitor will hold up voltage v across it within the positive half cycle of the input voltage now this the voltage across this capacitor is v and our input voltage is vi which also have a value of v now to calculate output voltage across this load resistor this side is positive and this side is negative i will apply our kashov voltage law in the region inside this green shaded rectangle at first i will encounter this vi and its negative polarity therefore our voltage will be positive and here vi is equal to v after that i will encounter this capacitor and its negative polarity and it has a voltage of v as negative polarity therefore its voltage will also be positive and after that i will encounter this load resistor and its positive polarity therefore its voltage will be negative equal to zero so our output voltage in the negative cycle will be equal to 2v now see why i can conclude that when the input voltage is in negative half cycle our output voltage will be equal to zero and when the input voltage is in positive half cycle our output voltage will be equal to 2v now let me show you the output input and output waveform this is our applied input during the positive half cycle it has a peak of v and see this is our reference or dc level when in case of input this is our negative half cycle and it has a peak of minus v now our positive clamper has push up the dc level of this input voltage such that our positive peak of this alternating waveform goes to 2v level and the negative peak touches the horizontal axis therefore our dc level will be at at a level of plus v from this plus v it has a value of v and it has a value of another v and as the clamper circuit pushes the dc level in upward direction we call this circuit as positive clamper okay that's it thank you